Hi everybody! Uh, today's video I would like to dedicate to yet another game AlphaZero Stockfish even though it was played, uh, well, more than a year ago from previous match but uh, I have a feeling that, uh, well, AlphaZero is still using the same strategies um, and I was trying to get to the bottom of, of those so uh, in my previous video I showed an example where Alpha Zero well sacrificed like two pawns and aimed for an attack. In this case, in this case, uh, it uh, sacrificed a pawn for strategic advantage. And uh, so, um, a little heads up: what I notice in most of Alpha Zero's games are the three things: one, it likes space; two it almost never had bad, has bad pieces. So, uh, whatever it takes, a pawn in exchange, it would sacrifice just to not have bad pieces. And third, which is most important, I believe, with every single move, it is trying to, uh, um, to improve its position. So, let's see the game. Uh, okay, Alpha Zero Stockfish. D4, Knight F6, C4, E6. I'm gonna be running some Cloud Engine here, just just in case. Uh, um, Alpha Z uh, Stockfish was Stockfish 8 was running on a much more powerful computer, but still to give you an understanding of what Stockfish was was thinking about uh, the position um, when it uh, when it came uh, on the board. So. Uh, Alpha Zero takes space, uh, but now there were um, many games in uh, online database, Sargisan and others, uh, where, um, where White took the pawn on d5 because, well, the pawn on c4 is hanging. So Alpha Zero aims for castle. So I remind that Alpha Zero had no opening explorer whatsoever, as well as Stockfish. So, now the pawn is lost. Now it's a question of how to capture it. So Stockfish decides to capture it like this, bishop a6, b3. It's already a new position on move 11, never happened. Bishop takes, bishop takes, and dc4. And it's very typical for these positions, the Catalan style, uh, to sacrifice, uh, to let the c takes, b3, a takes, b3 happen, and with uh, compensation on a file and good bishop. So, like uh, Stockfish is suggesting, like rook e1 move and c takes b, a takes b. When I saw the b4 move, I was like, I couldn't get my head around this. Like, how can you do that? You just lose a pawn, it becomes a protected passed pawn after b5, which is like forever. Where's the compensation? So, uh, well, here Stockfish gives zeros, so which is good for white. Uh, but uh, take a look what Alpha Zero is doing now. So Knight D2, Knight goes to the center, E4, uh, D6, C5 square, castle, logical. Knight E4, Bishop B7, Queen G4, improving the Queen. Knight D7, and now, so Stockfish says you should go A4. But there's A5 and some complications. Alpha Zero goes Knight to C5. Uh, well, at some point, black has to take that knight on c5. You can never live with that knight on c5 bothering you. So knight takes c5, d takes c5. This is the position. I couldn't understand, like, there's no knight. Who's gonna get to d6, which is the weakness in this position, right? Uh, what is the plan? Where's the compensation? a5, and it plays a3. So, uh, black is one pawn up, and that is a well-protected passed pawn on c4. So, but where's white's compensation? I remind you what I said in the beginning. White has space. Take a look. White has enough space for all of his pieces. Black does not. White doesn't have a bad piece. Well, for now, bishop on c3 is bad, right? Uh, that, I can t that I can agree on, but that's temporarily. Bishop on g2 is amazing uh, when uh, bishop on b7 is like a big pawn right now. So this is that's why white is white is better here, I believe. So here, how the game went, and take a close look what white is doing in this game with every single move. Takes, 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 takes. So it's good for black to exchange some pieces. Queen is being activated. Queen d3, rook c1. Bishop needed protection, and rook a8. Black is playing very logical chess. <coughs> now what should white do? What should what's white's plan? 
alpha zero improves its position with h4 not only there's h2 square for the king but also a pawn is going h5 h6 trying to undermine black's position so when here a uh, stockfish played queen d8 move like what is that you know at first i thought like rook a2 is very logical right you're going to c2 you attack the rook what's going on this is what is going on. Bishop to e4 is happening, kicking the queen. So if queen comes back, well, really we have similar to the game. So not much to discuss here. But the move that Stockfish suggested was a h5, which is very logical. And now queen f4, keeping the queens. And I thought like queen e2, very active pieces. But now white goes bishop to b1, kicking the rook away. Rook goes to a8, and now, well, I'm assuming alpha 0 anticipated it. Now, amazing move, king h2 first. And the thing is, if white goes rook e1, which is very logical, it's queen to g4, and, uh, well, queens are being exchanged, and I don't like that, and if white tries to keep the queens, queen e3, the pawn on h4 is hanging, and white is lost here. Too many pawns. So, that is why white would go king h2, exclamation mark, and take a look at the evaluation, already plus one. There's no good defense against rook e1, and if black plays like any waiting move, like g6, say, white goes rook e1, and if queen g4, white goes keeping the queens, and now this queen will be trapped very quickly here with f3. So, rook a2 doesn't work. So, if we uh, come back with this knowledge to rook a2, I, I mean h5 doesn't work, so queen has to come back. So, um, queen cannot stay in white's camp, so that's why I'm assuming Stockfish uh, retreated the queen, and alpha 0 improved its bishop. Take a, take a close look at every single move that white is doing now. Now, it is relatively clear that black has no counterplay, so all the penetration squares are taken, right? Rook can come to a2, but there's no future. The bishop on b7 has to stay and protect the pawn, but black is solid, so what What does alpha 0 do? Queen c8, stockfish played. I'm not sure what is the idea. Basically, stockfish is just waiting. White improves the, every single move. White is improving its position. It's amazing. The uh, engine gives zeros. Don't mm, get too cocky with that. Zeros doesn't mean it's equal. Zero, it means that stockfish hasn't found an improvement for white yet. There's no improvement for black, but there is improvement for white. It means that white is better, despite those zeros that you can see. Queen c7, and now what I like as well, so for some, for, for now, black has only one weakness on c6, right? But it's, well, really well protected. The rule of two weaknesses, you have to create more weaknesses. So this is what stock, uh, alpha 0 is doing. Queen h5, please give me the g6, or h6. If h6, I'm gonna attack with g4, g5, g6 it is. All right, that's fine, it's queen g4. I've seen in other games, uh, alpha 0, even in the opening, played in the similar um, uh, Queen's Indian pawn structure goes knight h4, going for f, uh, e5, f, f5, there's no pawn on e6, black goes g6, and white just comes back. So, uh, created a weakness, and come back, that's fine. h5, improving the position, rook to d8, queen h4, improving the queen, queen e7, queen f6, improving the queen, so normally speaking white shouldn't trade queens, but this is, uh, well, after this, these two guys are both dead, you know, uh, white is dominating the, the field. White will either penetrate through A file or through D file. Uh, basically, black will run out of moves very quickly. Um, plus three already. So that queen is immune. So queen to E8. Improving the rook. Rook was not doing anything. As you can see, the bishop on C3 is still standing there doing important job protecting two penetration squares. But... Take a closer look. Rook g7 takes f takes g. Okay, job is done. The weakness has been created. One was there. This is two, and now well, h file is three. But what do we do next? What do we do next? We improve our last piece. How do we do that? Well, our queen is already in trouble there. Rook f7 is coming and other moves. So queen comes back to h4. Queen e7, no trade of the queens today. Queen g4. Queen on g4 is really well placed, putting pressure here and maybe some sacrifices here or there, which black has to keep an eye on. Rook d8, black is still standing. And now all white's pieces are well placed, except from one guy. Now it's time for him to go. Bishop to b2. 
Where is it going? Where's the weakness that White created 10 moves ago? 10, I'm gonna come back a little bit. This was the position, there was no weakness around the king. With this move, g6, queen moves, this is the weakness and this is the weakness. Who, who's gonna get there? Black squared bishop, but well, a little later. So it can evaluate the long-term consequences of moves like g6. So where were we? We were here. 10 moves later, now the bishop is coming. Bishop to b2, it's coming to c1, it's coming here, and it's coming here. When the bishop arrives here, well, black's position would collapse very quickly. Now, already Stockfish understands that this is plus one, but even if we come back, it wouldn't find a better move than that. And nothing is changing. Bishop is still coming. So bishop went, and now c3. Stockfish tries to, you know, distract white from uh, from its plan uh, to pushing that pawn. And so alpha zero says, okay, fine. I'll get back to that plan. First, let me eat that pawn. Improving the bishop, improving the queen, improving the queen, taking that pawn. That's good. Queen d7, rook c1. By the way, I'm not sure why, what rook c1 stands for. Bishop g5. Ah, so that queen d4 doesn't come with a tempo. Uh, it wants to go bishop g5, but there's queen d4. And it comes with this tempo and, well, um, uh, that's what uh, alpha 0 is trying to prevent. Rook c1, the queen is protected, and now bishop g5 would come with a tempo. Queen go, improving the bishop, getting more space, improving the bishop, capture, improving the rook. Here you go. The stock Alpha Zero doesn't play with pawns. You you had almost all the game. Black was one pawn up, and it led to this position. Improving the rook, eating the pawn, improving the king, getting more space, improving the rook, improving the king, eating the pawn. Well, after this, this is completely lost. So I'm not sure if there's any point in looking forward. Uh, so white is dominating and white plus 10 is the evaluation. Not sure why they continue. So, but even after that, uh, alpha zero was improving its position on every single move. But in this case, it's irrelevant. I would beat Stockfish here. So not much to discuss. So what is my observation? about alpha zero and what we all including myself and the best players in the world can learn from it no bad pieces it is ready to sacrifice pawns you know by the way in the in the uh, opening this bishop on g2 is not good because there's like a rock solid pawn on d5 there you go take my pawn i don't care now my bishop is amazing i'll take that keep that pawn i don't care so no bad pieces, space advantage, and with every single move improving the position. Improving the position, improving, improving, provoking a weakness, improving the h file, improving the queen, improving the queen, improving the rook. Now the job is done, queen comes back to attack the weakness on e6 from a safe location. Now it's time for the bishop. Basically that's it, the game is over already. So, what we all can learn with every single move it is trying to improve its position. And I've seen, I watch, checked most of the games, you will find them in the description to this video. Uh, I do recommend that you check like all of them or most of them. They are all very instructive. With almost every move, Alpha Zero is trying to improve its position with every single move, whatever it takes, a pawn sacrifice, another pawn. Uh, maybe you've seen there was a famous game where it sacrificed like five pawns throughout the game. Here you go, one, then two, then exchange. So as long as there are no bad pieces in the position, Alpha Zero is happy with it. And well, I wish I could play like that, but I do believe that Alpha Zero was playing like superhuman chess, not a computer chess, but superhuman chess that I can understand and I can explain every single move with, with logic, not with some weird variations that uh, other engines are providing to support their move. I can understand 95% of the, the Alpha Zero's moves, if not 100. And the explanation is like relatively simple. It's playing strong and simple chess. 
that I can really relate to, even if it takes sacrificing pawns and, and exchanges and uh, other material that you can find in most of its, in many of its games. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share with your friends. I hope you enjoyed. I would uh, try to um, to dig deeper into Alpha Zero's play because this is like super chess that we all can learn from. It also provided some novelties, but well, maybe I will talk about that later. Take care. See you in a week.